So NICE are part of Departments of Health and Social Care. Uh, do, uh, uh, to keep it really simple, so NICE stands for National Institute of Clinical Health Excellence, that, that type of acronym. And their, their role is not to, in the fact, uh, in sort of talking about drugs and, and access to um, therapies and treatments, th what their role is not to say, does the drug work? Because NICE will only look at licensed products. So it's gone through a, a clinical, a robust clinical trial. Um, the licensing authorities have said this drug works. What NICE are doing in, um, in, in England, in the UK, is to say this is a cost effective, that the benefit is worth paying for. Um, that's a really simplistic ladybird textbook sort of what nice is. Um, I could wax lyrical about it, but that in essence is what it's about. It's, but just to be clear, it's not saying does it work or not, it's saying is the value of this drug enough to, for the NHS to take it on? Just to give context, we're now talking um, at the end of uh, 2023, beginning of 2024, and there is a new drug um, that will hopefully get a licence. It's not got a licence yet, called Cetericet. Um, and I suppose that's why we're particularly talking about it at the moment, because there's a lot of chatter on social media. There's lots of chatter amongst healthcare professionals who are working in the field of pulmonary arterial hypertension about Cetericet. And, uh, uh, and Cetericet will go through what's called a NICE review. Okay, so NICE will look at this drug, independent of any other sort of, sort of things that are happening in pH. It's the first time that a single drug has been looked at at NICE in this way. Um, and that's why we're, we're talking about it at the moment, because that process will give um, context to when it might or might not be available for use in day-to-day uh, -day practice. So I suppose one of the questions everybody would ask you is, how long does this take? We really don't know. Um, NICE, generally speaking, are fairly efficient. They have a very clear um, uh, agenda timetable in which they, they do, do stuff. It's very exacting. Um, we, um, so when I say we, we the pa patient association, are uh, going to be part of that process. We, we, we have been involved in different processes of getting drug available in the UK for PH1s. In fact, I don't think there's ever been a drug that we now use in PH in the UK that we as an organisation have not had to have some representation whether it's been NICE or, or with other uh, bodies like the Scottish Medicines Agency uh, as to how effective this drug could be in, in, in practice and whether it's, it's actually, is it worth paying for? Um, so um, we, we'll be part of that process. How long it will be, there are lots of hoops to be to be jumped through. Um, is this bureaucracy gone mad? Um, sometimes it could be, you, you could be, be frustrated by it, but we have to be part of that process. And one of the things that we as an organisation will ensure is working with um, key stakeholders. And what do I mean by that? I mean NICE itself, um, uh, the clinical community, the, 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 the prescribers, the doctors, the, the experts in this, uh, the drug company, uh, commissioners, et cetera, to try and get this available um, some of that will be dependent on when it gets a license, the drug, and it could be towards the end of 2023, 2024, should I say, not 23. That's maybe when uh, the regulatory uh, will, will license it. And, and until that happens, NICE cannot take it on its agenda. So realistically, I think the, the, ease, the, the, the earliest we might see it available um, to be prescribed is in 2025. Um, I might be wrong in that. I hope I'm wrong. I'll put it sooner. But I think it could be 2025 at the earliest and it could be longer because that process could go on longer than we, we I'm, I'm envisaging at the moment to what people are saying. Right. So I, I suppose at the moment, until something gets a license, you, we cannot be 100% clear it will get a license okay uh, and it might get a license to be used in certain ways and and i'm not privy to, to all the data there and um, nobody's privy to all that data um and um so we i would never say and i don't think anybody should say it's nailed that it's going to get a license but it would be really surprising if it's not sort of going to get some some license to be used in pulmonary arterial hypertension. When I say it might be restricted, it might be in certain categories of pulmonary hypertension, certain types of pH. I don't know because that depends on the data from these big clinical trials that have been going on for many years. So one, once, let's say to, let's, you know, be, be really positive, so that gets a license, then NICE will be able to review it in their process. And we, as I say, we, we will be actively involved in that. We're not going to be a backseat passenger in this. We're going to be very much actively involved in that. Um, and 
what NICE will do, as I've sort of said, is that there'll be a number of considerations, is that how effective is it? And some of it, some of their decisions will be based on uh, a formula, which is a built around the cost of the drug. So the drug company uh, will, will market this at a certain price. And in rare diseases, drugs are always more expensive than you would expect in, in asthma. Now, there's very good reasons for that, because in rare diseases, for a drug company to, to do a drug trial, it, it costs literally hundreds of millions of pounds. So to recoup that cost, so um, I'm, I'm not going to be critical of the high cost of drugs. I think sometimes drug companies can charge far too much, but so that you would always expect to see drugs costing more uh, in rare diseases because they've got to pull back some of that investment that they've got. Um, but the cost is going to be really important. Yeah, so I think uh, what, what final sort of comments here, I want everybody to be reassured that we as an organisation will make sure that we do everything that we can to get access to this drug uh, for people in the UK with pH.